We've spoken about wheel hardness in the past, and I've mentioned a few times that when you're outside, it's better to have a bigger wheel. But let's talk about wheel sizes, why they're important, and hopefully it will help you understand a little bit more when to use what wheel. Here are a selection of wheels. Wheels tend to go from around 55 mil to around 65 mil is the biggest that you'll get for a quad skate. The 65 mils are the ones that we tend to wear outside, simply because I always say you can clear the debris. On a bigger wheel, you've got more clearance for your kingpin, which is obviously good for dealing with all those outside obstacles. So people say when you come indoors, you want a smaller wheel because it's more maneuverable. But do you? When I used to figure skate, we were doing jumps and spins, and we always spun on smaller wheels because they're more maneuverable. But when you go for a smaller wheel, you give up a bit of speed. When we used to do figures, which is Basically, oh, they're so hard. You have to push once and you go around this great big circle and you're not allowed to push a second time until you get back to where you started and then you push on the other foot. We used to use really, really big wheels because the trade-off on the slight bit of maneuverability was the fact that we needed every ounce of speed we could get from that one push. When I used to figure skate dancing, we used to again use a bigger wheel because you go further on one push. But when we did figures and dancing, we were also doing turns and spins. So surely the maneuverability isn't that much of an issue. These wheels are both HD 75 Boyoni Star wheels. And the only difference is that one is a 55 and one is a 65. So I want to see if it makes any difference. I've got one with the 55s and one with the 65s. So let's see what happens. So I had a bit of a roll round and I would say, yes, if I skate and hold an edge, I feel more rolly. That's clearly a technical term. It feels like the bigger wheels do roll for longer. I think mainly it comes into play when I was doing these disciplines where you have to skate. So if I'm doing a dance, you'd have to skate on one foot from this corner into the middle. And it needs to look beautiful and floaty and flowy, like you've got no effort whatsoever. So to make it look like that, the slightly larger wheel would just give you that little bit more roll. So you wouldn't be kind of almost coming to a stop and then pushing. You just glide from one foot to the other. But as a recreational skater, does it really make much difference? I don't think so. For rhythm moves, it's normal to wear a small wheel. So I thought I'd give the heads a go to see how this feels. Now, it's hard for me because I always wear a smaller wheel inside. The right foot with the bigger wheels immediately feels clunky when I do something like this. I can feel the difference. If I was a skater that changed wheel sizes a lot more, I probably wouldn't notice the difference. So if you bought a big wheel and wanted to do rhythm moves in it, you'd probably be absolutely fine. So the ultimate test of maneuverability is always a spin, because the last thing that wheels ever want to do is spin. So let's see if the difference in spinning is that much. Okay, so if I do my rock step, cross. So all my weight was on my left leg then, which is the little wheels, and that felt fine, quite easy to spin. So let's try the other foot. Okay. See, it's hard for me because I'm more comfortable on the small wheel. But am I more comfortable on the small wheel because it's easier to spin in a smaller wheel? potentially. The science behind this is all about the spooling up. Bear with me, because this gets a little bit geeky. The idea is that once you're up to speed, if you had both a small wheel and a big wheel at the same RPM, then the big wheel would be covering more ground because it's bigger. But it takes more effort to get the bigger wheel moving. So trying to spin what I'm doing here from nothing the smaller wheel is going to be easier to accelerate to get the spin, whereas the larger wheel is going to be harder to accelerate. So I'm having to put more effort into the spin. If you want an instant from standing spin or turn, smaller wheels are going to be more maneuverable. So I do kind of feel like when I swap feet from little 
to big, the big gives me this boost of speed. So the little one and I'm rolling and then I go to the big wheel and I do feel like I get a boost of speed and I'm just rolling. I'm kind of rolling for days on the big ones. Let me go to the little one, get some speed up. I'm kind of rolling for a long time on this. My push started at the window. I mean, it's not overly scientific because obviously how my push wasn't exactly the same each time, but feeling wise, the bigger wheels do feel like I've got more glide. So we can't talk about wheel size without mentioning the shape of the wheel because some wheels are rounded, some wheels have more of an edge, they're squarer. So this makes a massive difference to what we call the maneuverability of them. So for park skating, you tend to have like this bowl bomber, which are very, very rounded. And for artistic skating, we prefer a much squarer wheel because these edges help to give you push and they also help to give you stability. So you can lean right on that edge and it won't slip out. Whereas if it's rounded and you land on the edge of it, it's gonna slip. So a nice edge really helps with stability. But to make matters even more complicated, because if it was already complicated enough, we've got shape, we've got size, we've got hardness, we've also got hubs. So this wheel has a hub. Now, my theory is this is what makes this wheel such an amazing outdoor wheel because it feels so smooth and so quiet because you've got this nylon hub with the urethane around it. And my theory is this is why it's my favorite wheel because it has this hub in it. So watching back whilst I was editing this, I realized that I'd missed something. One thing I didn't cover was width. So the width of the wheel, it basically means how much of your wheel is gonna be in contact with the surface. These are my park wheels and these are rounded. So although these in the middle, the hub area is the same width, you can see there's a lot less of the wheel that contacts the floor and that also makes a really big difference. And you'll notice that skaters who skate Derby have incredibly wide wheels and this is so it makes them really, really stable and they can do really fast corners. So again, this makes a huge difference. There's so many things that can affect wheels and it's a matter of finding out what works for you as you go along in your skate journey. But I hope this has really, really helped you to work out what you need and when. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey and I'll see you next time.